Hello and welcome to the Pro Yaki Report, Volume 1, Episode 40, The Real Rabbit Ball. I'm Michael Westbay, your host. Now, this so-called lively ball that was introduced this year has been getting quite a bit of coverage in North America. John and Jim, on last week's Japan Baseball Weekly podcast, did an excellent job of explaining just what the difference between of the ball between the 2011 and 2012 seasons were with this year, 2013. In a guest appearance on NPB Tracker this past week, I also ranted about the way the North American press is giving baseball a really bad name and doing a great disservice to baseball around the world with the innuendo that the commissioner is stepping down due to the, quote, juiced, unquote, ball, allowing Vladimir Valentin to break Sadaharu O's 49-year-old record. And yes, that record is shared by Tuffy Rhodes and Alex Cabrera. Now, in that post, I mentioned that the Giants' massive home runs of the years 2004 and 2010 were due to a rabbit ball. And I'd like to present to you the numbers over the past uh, 10 years before this season, plus this season, so you can see just what a rabbit ball looks like. Okay, the first thing that I've done is I've gathered together all of the home runs since 2003 and broken them down by team and the number of games played. Um, there were a couple of seasons where the Central League and Pacific League did not play the same number of games. So I broke down the home runs per game as the common denominator between all of the years. For 2013, because the season is not yet over, I used the home runs per game and extrapolated out the potential number of home runs based on the number of home runs per game so far. Now just looking through these tables, and each of them is sorted by the team with the most home runs per game, you will think that the Yomiuri Giants do nothing but hit home runs. And you'd be pretty close. You see, the Giants' main strategy over many years has been to gather up all of the number four hitters from each of the teams who becomes a free agent and just stack their lineup with number four hitters. So there's one thing about this strategy that I find really interesting. If you look here at this table of the leading home run hitters for each of the seasons, you'll find that the Yomiuri Giants are only there twice, and both times it's with uh, sluggers who they purchase from other teams the year before. Nonetheless, you will notice in the lower right-hand corner of each of these yearly totals a grand total of the number of home runs per game. This number will either be in blue or it will be in red. The blue indicates that it is greater than the 11-year average of home runs per game, and red is below the 11-year average per game. Now, you will notice that 2011 and 2012 have the absolute lowest number of home runs per game in the 11 years that I have displayed. This year, it went up by quite a bit. However, going up does not necessarily make it a rabbit ball, as is clearly indicated by the number being in red. Yes, the number of home runs hit per game this season is less than the average number of home runs hit over the past 11 years, including these past two dead ball years. So, 
So I just have to say, and let me emphasize this, the ball is not juiced. Okay? You got that, North America? So let's stop talking about the juiced ball here in Japan, and let's start talking about what it really is. The ball has been modified to meet the lowest standard of bounciness. Um, Jim said the right word. Please refer to last week's Japan Baseball Weekly podcast, because um, that really does explain what the ball is. But I'd like to show you the rabbit ball. Here we have a graph of all of the average um, home runs per game over the last 13 years, this year being projected over 144 games. Notice 2004's Giants home runs. It is far and away above anybody else's. Now, 2004, almost daily, the newspapers were talking about the rabbit ball. That was what the rabbit ball looks like. If you look at 2013, it's almost half the number of home runs per ball compared to 20, 2004. So, if you are going to talk about a rabbit ball... You are welcome to talk about the Mizuno ball that was used up until 2010. Notice another spike with the Giants in 2010. The Giants liked using the Mizuno rabbit ball. Um, Mizuno, of course, back then totally denied that they had changed anything in their ball year to year, yet you can kind of see that uh, there was something going on with that ball year to year in the Giants' home run output. So, North America, are you convinced yet? There is no juiced ball this year. The rabbit ball was 2004, and it made a slight comeback in 2010. Now, one thing you also may notice between 2011 and 2013 is that the graphs for each team seems to have similar trajectories. Now, teams like Cebu ended up uh, losing Nakamura this season, so their home runs have suffered a great deal. But the other teams going from the first version of the unified ball to this year, seem to all have a very similar trajectory. Everybody is also gathered up much closer together. Whereas if you look at 2004, 2010, uh, 2007 even, you'll see that there is a wide margin between the teams that hit the least amount and the most amount. And this is another one of the things that Jim and John discussed in last week's Japan Baseball Weekly podcast. They talked about how each of the teams were allowed to use whichever maker for the baseball that they wanted to. And some makers cre made a slightly dead ball. Some makers, Mizuno, made a rabbit ball a couple of those years. And then, of course, there was the other dilemma, which had teams like uh, Chunichi, who would, during one home stand against one opponent, opponent use one ball, and in a home stand against a different opponent, use a different ball. As Jim explained, the only rule with changing balls was that you had to use the same ball over the three-game series. And you had to supply the opposing team the ball that was to be used beforehand so that they could practice with it. So, as you can see, there is a lot of up and down. In fact, one of the interesting things that I see here is the Oryx Buffaloes. 
um, 2003, they had Tuffy Rhodes and uh, Norihiro Nakamura, um, and they lost both of them going to the 2004 season, and that was a lot of home runs. But after that, they've been pretty f regular. Uh, their line is almost flat until the new ball was brought into play. After the new ball was brought into play, they, like pretty much everybody else, dropped even further. Um, and then we can look at Yakult here in green. Yakult in 2004, compared to now, is just a slight drop. But you'll see that some years, like 2005, they are actually just slightly below this year in their home run hitting. And one of the really odd things is that Jingu, at that time, was the smallest stadium in Japan. So how is it that Yakult didn't have any home run hitters? Again, it goes back to the ball they used. They had a very small stadium, so they purposefully bought baseballs from a maker who used a pretty dead ball. And that really helped them to keep the home runs down. Of course, it kept their own home runs down, and they kind of suffered a bit in the run department as well. So, what do we learn from this? Well, there is no rabbit ball or lively ball this season. The commissioner is not stepping down because Ballantine broke this hollowed home run record. The commissioner is stepping down because his first in charge had secretly changed the ball, then denied any uh, knowledge of the ball having been changed, despite all the evidence over the first few months of the season that the ball was definitely flying a bit more than the past two seasons, making the commissioner look like a fool who didn't know what was going on. Uh, the report for what the third party found regarding the commissioner basically says that even though he didn't have first-hand knowledge of the livelier ball this season, that he should have investigated himself, he should have taken the responsibility to find out what was going on. And it was this lack of leadership that they submitted in their report to the team owners, and that is the reason that the commissioner is stepping down. It has absolutely nothing to do with Valentin breaking the home run record. Now, I would greatly appreciate it if those of you in North America who see people saying that this is the case or suggesting it by stating the commissioner is, setting, is stepping down and then in the next paragraph saying that Ballantin broke this hollowed home run record, please let the media know that they are not providing a service to American baseball fans. They are not doing a service for Japanese baseball fans. They are not doing a service for baseball fans in particular. They need to stop. They need to find out what's going on, and they need to put the facts into a context and explain it properly. And with that, I submit to you this week's Pro Yaku Report. Thank you for joining me. Till next week, take care.